Hi everybody, welcome to the home of Crybaby Performance where we try and they cry. Today we are going to talk about Briggs L206 cam timing and how to calibrate your cam to get the most out of your engine. Here's the cam out of the 206 and as you can see it's a highly polished, very precision made part. Briggs claims they take 3,600 points on this cam and they are all the same. So why I have this picture up is you can see the compression release. There's a hole in the compression release and that is where this cam will twist and move right at that center hole. We cut the locks off this sealed motor and we took the side cover off so that we can show you exactly what it looks like and what's going on. After the locks are taken off, of course, this motor can no longer be used for competition, but we can see exactly what's going on in the side of the motor. Here's a closer look at the cam, and we're looking through that upper hole. You can see the lobe of the cam, and that shiny spot is the lifter that's resting right against the flat or the flattest part of the cam, and that's where you're going to lock this cam down and you'll be able to twist it at this spot. Through the upper hole, we zoom in and you can see the lobe of the cam. I've highlighted the lifter in red so you can see where it is and how it's sitting flat on the camshaft. Now I've pulled the cam away just so you can see where the lifter is riding on the flat spot of the cam. This just gives you a different angle or perspective since it was hard to see through the opening of the cam. The cam is now all the way out and the lifter is sitting on the flat spot of the cam. That's the position that you want it to be in to be able to lock this cam down in the block. This is just showing you our made pin that is sitting exactly on top of the lifter. This is what it'll look like in the engine even though your side cover will be on and you will never take the locks off to do this procedure. This view shows you where the lifter is and you can see that it's sunken down in the lifter bore so it will hold our pin on top of the lifter without it moving around. We have our perfectly machined pin in place on top of the lifter exactly where we want it on the cam to lock the cam down in place. Next we have our torque plate or our top plate ready to install over it. It slid off to the side just to show you that this plate will hold that pin securely in place locking the cam down so it will not move. Now that our cam is locked down in place, we can put our bar on the end of the crank and we can apply pressure until we get that cam to start moving into the calibration spec that is the most favorable in the rules. Here is the end that we've made to go over the shaft. It has a keyway. It also has a bolt that can lock it down in place. This gets welded to a bar so that you can create a lever action on the crankshaft. We just had the side cover off so that you could see all the mechanics of what was going on. But in order to do this procedure, there is no reason that you have to take the side cover off or even touch the orange locks to complete this task. We cut the locks off this brand new engine just so you could see what the camshaft looked like, how the lifter sat on the cam, and how things aligned. Now that the plate is securely fastened to the top of the deck of the block, we're using our made spacers so that we can reuse the existing head bolts so that we don't have to get different ones. Everything is now in place and we are ready to go to the outside and put our bar on and adjust and calibrate the cam timing. Now that we're all set up, it's not just as easy as putting the bar on there and twisting away. You have to get your degree wheel and your dial indicator on there and figure out where your cam is 
to start before you start moving and calibrating it. This procedure will require the following tools, the top plate, the twister bar, the gauge and the top plate so that you can measure your cam timing. Also not pictured, you will need a good large degree wheel. Here's the cam spec right out of the Briggs manual and you can see at 0 .006, you have an eight degree window from 51 to 59 degrees. The closer you get to 51, the faster your motor will be. That is retarded cam timing. We have spoken to Briggs several times over the last couple of years with no resolution to this problem. The window of eight degrees is huge. Two degrees will win you every single race. Four degrees is the limit. Anything over four degrees will have a negative effect. In your calibration process, you are looking for at six thousandths, as close to the 51 as you can get it. These are the simple tools you need to calibrate your cam timing. Why let all the engine builders have the fun and provide motors that are beating everybody when you can provide the same advantage to yourself as they are providing to their top customers? Let's start leveling the field one engine at a time. From the home of Crybaby Performance, where we try and they cry.